day everyone today is monday july 25 2022 please sing with me open our eyes lord open our eyes lord We want to see Jesus To reach out and touch Him And say that we love Him Open our ears, Lord Help us to listen, open our eyes, Lord, we want to see Jesus, open our eyes, Lord, we want to see Jesus. Jesus, to reach out and touch Him, and say that we love Him. Open our ears, Lord, and help us to listen. Open our eyes, Lord, we want to see Jesus. Open our eyes, Lord, we want to see Jesus. Open our ears, You will drink my chalice. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 20, verses 20 to 28. At that time, the mother of the sons of Zebedee came up to Jesus with her sons and kneeling before him she asked him for something and he said to her what do you want she said to him command that these two sons of mine may sit one at your right hand one at your left in your kingdom but Jesus answered, You don't know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the chalice that I am to drink? They said to him, We are able, he said to them. You will drink my chalice, but to sit at my right hand and at my left is not mine to grant, but it is for those who whom it has been prepared by my father. And when the ten heard it, they were indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus called them to him and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles, Lord is over them, and their great men exercise authority over them. It shall not be so among you, but whoever would be great among you must be your servant, and whoever would be first among you must be your slave, even as the Son of Man named not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. 
This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. In today's reflection, our Christian life and ministry are a treasure in an earthen vessel. They are full of trials and tribulations, but God's power is always at work in every believer to sustain and perfect this gift, making it to bear abundant fruit. Despite the human limitations of those who possess it, Jesus called James alongside his brother John and made them part of his inner circle of apostles, despite their shortcomings. Jesus tried to get them to understand clearly the true concept of Christian leadership which entails humble service of God and fellow men and women without self-interest. Like St. Paul, every minister of the gospel is called to embrace Christ's suffering and death as a testimony of true leadership that is capable of bringing forth new life in oneself and in others. Amen. Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Merciful Father, we praise and worship you as the King and Lord of our life. Thank you for the unfading trust you have been pouring on us. Father, be always at our side and be the King of our mind, heart, and soul, so that we will be filled with nothing except your light, peace, hope, and strength. Bless our eyes so that we will see your consoling presence and purpose in and beyond our heartaches, trials, and doubts. Also, bless us with enlightenment and courage that we may let go of the bitter feelings of regrets and forgiveness and self-pitying in our hearts that blocks us from giving ourselves totally in your love. Please help us love you faithfully, Father God, for only in your love our soul finds peace, healing, life, and fulfillment. For all of this we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless everyone, and thank you. Happy Monday!